Expert Financial Wellness. Reach out to them for advice at 855-DON-GINO. And now back to your host, Don Getling. And, G- and on today, we have the other half of uh, the Reap Rickett. Let's see. Reap Rickett. He, said, he calls it the, the Reap Rickett family law firm. <laughs> And uh, today we get David Rickett on today. Thank you for joining us, buddy. Thank you, thank you. Thanks for having me. It's a <clears throat> real pleasure. Usually, uh, now, do you usually have Jim come on the show just to get him out of the office once in a while? That, well, that's <laughs> he, he's the main man. Everybody wants to hear from him. He's got the most experience. So, uh, yeah, so finally I was able to step in. And, uh, we're excited, yeah. though, because hopefully you realize, and we're very fortunate because we have some of the best professionals in all of Santa Clarita on our show and part of what's called America's Professional Research Group, which is a group of the very best professionals we can find. Most are vetted 20 to 30 year veterans in their field, and it's a field that you will need at some time in your life. Hopefully not every field, but some of them you will. And you can find out more by going to aprgi.com. aprgi.com. You'll see Reap Rickett Law Firm involved with Jim Reap and David Rickett here today. And we're going to go over some topics that a lot of us at some point, like, well, what's the percentage now? It's got to be over 50% or something. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I don't have the latest statistics, but, uh, you know, as long as there's houses being built, there's going to be families moving in, and then there's going to be tragedies, you know, within those families. And so they're going to need some uh, some legal help, and that's what we're that's what we're here to do. You guys are the best at it, too. Without a doubt, the number one family law firm in Santa Clarita and you guys have given so much great advice. And when we get your advice, it's one of the most hit YouTube videos we have. It because is. you guys give such solid information about things a lot of you out there don't know and don't know the options you have when, eh, I guess you can call it a tragedy, or when things happen in a, in a marriage. Yeah, life. I mean, you know, those are the things that uh, you look at. Uh, we, you know, we have a client right now that have been married for like 40 years, yeah. you know, or mm-hmm. something ridiculous. And, uh, you know, you think, why would they ever break up? And well, there's sometimes things happen. You know, the reality is life changes. And, and you're not the same person when you're 50 as you were when you were 20. And if you met when you're 20 and you've gone through these changes, whatever the changes are, things change and that changes the dynamic of a couple. And sometimes they just need your help. That's true. I, I've I've heard uh, from from clients that have come in that they've uh, you know married thirty forty years, but they've waited till their youngest has aged out, oh, moved on to college, recently, and yeah. so um, you know now they're going to live the life that they wanted to live. So you know there's all different reasons, and uh, you know there's it's uh, unfortunate uh, in today's uh, day and age, but it's you know it's a service that's that is needed to get through the courts. Uh, I even uh, tell my clients sometimes it's, you know, there's more paperwork to get divorced than to get married. And it's, no doubt about that. <laughs> it's just how the case law is evolving that the courts want more and more transparency in divorces. They don't want a spouse to you know, not know what they have an interest in. And so through that, as these cases come down to say more and more transparency, more and more disclosure, that means more and more documents. And when it's more and more documents, you got to file them with the court. Uh, so you're talking a lot of time and money. It's a lot of time, a lot of money. And, um, and that's, that's difficult because they want to get from point A to point B. I want to get divorced. But uh, sometimes they try it on their own and things get kicked back from the clerks. And of course, you know, you can't call the clerks. You'll never, <laughs> never get through the telephone morass and, uh, and backlog there. So th- all you do is you get your paperwork kicked back and they can't give legal advice. So you, you see a red check and uh, you didn't mark this, you didn't uh, submit that. And you know, people throw their hands up in frustration. So, yeah, that wouldn't be frustrating at all. No. Especially we we've seen when we've gotten <laughs> involved because we handle the house side of it, where, where they're yeah. selling a house sure. or purchasing new homes and stuff. There's a point, and you can back me up on this, when they're ready to get divorced, and whether it's because it's just time or because somebody did something wrong, boy, do they want to get it done. Oh, I mean, they're yeah. like, get this person either out of my home or out of my face. <laughs> it's it's pretty. Uh, 
yeah. uh, emotional. That's and that's where uh, really some traction starts to happen on a case is when the, both parties say, "Okay, we want to get this done," and the dust the dust kind of settles. The emotions. Both parties have moved out of the emotional stage of of the hurt or whatever it is, mm-hmm. and they've come to the realization, "Okay, this is just going to get done, and and let's get it done." And that's when you can really get a lot of traction and and speed things up. But you're also talking when we were before we started uh, our segment today about how how much time it could take just trying to even go to the courts and stuff. I mean, you were talking about that you can show up early in the morning and you only get your couple minutes even after staying there for half a day or something like that. They, yeah, typically in, in divorce cases, it's unlike any other civil case, you can go to court uh, if you have a custody issue or you have a support issue um, or you have a uh, you know domestic violence issue you can go to court on any one of those lit- limited little issues and uh, the court will resolve it the court will give you a court order but uh, it's a lot of preparation you have to complete a lot of paperwork you then file your paperwork you get your hearing 30 days later uh, and typically you'll go and you'll be on a calendar, which can sometimes range 30, 40 cases in wow. the morning. Okay. So between 8.30 and 12, the court's got to get those cases done and resolved. And so you figure it out just mathematically. You're, you know, you're down to maybe 10 minutes for your hearing that you've prepared for you know, and waited for in a, for a month. And uh, it's just not a very efficient yeah, that's the word. Yeah, uh, management of, of your time and money, because then there's also the time of you got to take off of work, the emotional uh, aspect of going to court. Not everybody is, you know, this, that's not where they want to be. And the cost uh, of half a day being at the court. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And so, uh, and and then you go there, and um, boy, you know, so anything can happen. The judges can be sick, the opposing counsel can be sick, the opposing party could be sick. So you get there and say, oh, well, we got to continue it to another another day because such and such happened. So, so now you spent two, three thousand dollars on legal fees just to get everybody there, took the day off of work, got the kids with babysitters. You, got, you made all this preparation and the judge was sick and it cost you <laughs> all this money and you got nothing you get done. back on the yeah, calendar. Uh, yeah, the judges have, you know, they're, they're, they're a, a, an employee, county employee, so they'll have their meetings or sometimes there'll be a judge's conference. And, you know, they, they are very, very uh, good about making sure, trying to get the cases through. Right, right. But things do happen, and, and those kind of things do happen, and so uh, they're just unavoidable. So, yeah, you, you spend all that time and money and effort, and then you got to gear up because your, your case has been continued. Uh, all right, if you just tuned in, you're here with the Don and Gino Real Estate and Finance Show on your hometown station, AM 1220 KHS, and this fine Saturday. That's right, you get us every Saturday, 9 a.m. to 10 a.m., and we're here with our good friend and a wonderful professional you need to know more about, Mr. David Rickett with uh, Reap Rickett Law Firm. And uh, we've had Jim Reap on here quite a bit. We know your firm quite a bit. You guys reach out and add so much value. So we're talking about... A little bit of the trials and tribulations going through a divorce and going through the court systems and the costs and the emotional. So what I love is that you and Jim are really good about sharing other options. There are other options, and we feel better options based on hearing you guys speak a lot. So on this last segment of our show today, is there if we go in depth on some of those other options, such as mediation? Yes, absolutely. And thank you for saying those uh, kind words. Yeah. There are there are a number of options, and it's um, we write articles. We have yeah, associate attorneys and senior attorneys, and we're always writing articles in the various publications online, uh, giving letting people know of the options or letting them know of the case law that's coming down, so they can, you know, uh, avoid it and or th- have a different strategy going forward. So, um, one one way to do that is is mediation. All right. Well, we're going we're gonna to touch on that in the next segment because that's a big subject. We've, yeah. we've kind of been luckily educated by uh, your firm on the values of it and why you need to really consider it. So when we come back, don't go away. We're going to go into some other options in case you are going through some challenges, whether it's with your spouse or regarding protecting you or your children. So stay tuned to the Don and Gina Real Estate and Finance Show. We'll be right back. 